Alright guys, finally back to making more videos, and boy, what a doozy I picked to get back in the saddle. Tick-tock the machinos, but... Okay, if you say so. So yeah, I figured since I revisited Bubsy, I might as well check this game out, because I played both Bubsy games in my youth, but I never tried Awesome Possum, and nowadays this is kind of the butt of fucking jokes about environmentalism run really shitty and just just rip off game design. Apparently this is more of a rip off of Sonic than Cryon Conquest and Magical Dorpy was of what well, was of Mega Man and already I'm seeing this at least Magical Dorpy had decent control. This I don't know. It just feels kind of stiff and clunky and then there's how he's always talking, which was a which was kind of unheard of back then, but it was kind of negated by he was supposedly a very annoying character, and... Oh! Well, right now I'm being more annoyed by the enemies coming out of nowhere than I am by his voice, so... yeah. Okay. See his... okay, every button is jumped, just like Sonic. So yeah, this this really is a bigger ripoff of Sonic than Cry and Conquest was of Mega Man. At least the original version of Cry and Conquest, Magical Dorpy for the Famicom, was kind of interesting. It You could continue for one thing, and it had cutscenes in between levels and shit. What is this game? Oh yeah, I remember. I've seen the reviews, that quiz thing. Oh, uh, I get the... Uh, uh, son of an ass! I get the health power up and I immediately fall into fucking... Okay... Everything I've read about this game is true and seen in videos. It's like the enemy placement is just ass and just It seems like the designers were trying to troll you with the shit enemy placement. That's what really killed this game, not the environmentalism shit. I mean people whine about environmentalism, oh, they're always dangerous what to do. And but that that sort of thinking tends to come from people who think that transgender people, you know, people who have like had at like a hatchet job done between the legs, it's like them peeing in bathrooms whenever they want is the w most dangerous thing ever. Even though they've pretty much been doing it already, and there have been no ill effects and shit. And and he disintegrates into a skeleton right before our eyes. It's like a time lapse video when those ants come and just pick apart a corpse. Lovely, just just, just beautiful. That's what you want the kids to see. And who the fuck put the drums here? And who the fuck puts the springs places in Sonic games? And where does the spring that Sonic uses in Smash Brothers come from? Who knows? Who the fuck cares? Just like, no one really cares about this game, but I'm playing it anyway, even though dozens of people have already reviewed it and shit, and... Starscream just came out of nowhere. Fuck you, Starscream. You always be a whiny bitch. Boingy, boingy, boingy. I can't really even b focus on his... on how he's always talking and being an ass when... the level design and stiff control is assy enough. I mean, seriously. It's not as bad as I was expecting, but... is kind of just... Okay, checkpoint. Good. That means I can play this game a little longer. Uh, uh well, check what out? You just... Yeah, 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 you're so cool if you say so. And, if, and fuck... Well, that, that was... That was a different jet. Maybe it was, I don't know, Ramjet or something? I don't know. Reminds me, I haven't watched the trailer for Transformers 4. I haven't even seen Transformers 4! I need to... I've got the Blu-ray. I was gonna watch it right before the fifth one came out. Why, when it comes to Michael Bay stuff, why did does Transformers still make money, but that last Ninja Turtles movie do jack shit, and the control is so bad, I can't curve my jump to land on the B thing. I'm pretty sure that's what I gotta do next, but... For me, level design, if the level design is shit, that'll kill a game more fast than anything else. And I touch the B and it does nothing. What the fuck is this? Like I said, bad level design. 
That's what kind of made Metroid Other M subpar for me. Not the Ebo Samus or any of that bullshit. No, it's because the level design just felt kind of... just lackluster compared to the other games in the series. Oh, what are you looking around for? Oh, kiss my ass, you fucking piece of roadkill. Oh, oh, that is what I'm supposed to do. But you gotta land on it in a very specific way. Why am I playing this game? Because I saw it for $8 on eBay with the instructions, so I figured out hey, why the fuck not. Leave me alone. And just like Sonic, you, you gotta build up momentum to get up. Is this a boss or something? Yes, you are, awesome boss. Okay, good, health. That, that's gonna be... How long do these levels go on? At least, at this point, if I was playing a Sonic... Uh, never mind. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why I wish I was playing some fucking Kirby. And see who. Oh, that's easy, the male! Duh! Oh, look at all the happy animals. Oh, a bonus level. Joy. I guess I'll just stay near the top and. Or not. Down we go. Ow, my head. He can't do it. You rip off Sonic, but I'm pretty sure at this point in Sonic's history, he had the fucking spin dash. And... Really? I'm stuck down here now. Thanks a bunch. Back then now. Now I can really go. Can I get out of here? Okay, okay, this time he just disappears completely. How many flowers do bees have to f I don't know, I'll just guess. Oh, fuck all your shit! All right, now this is a proper level again. Oh no, Star Scream's back! Then again, who gives a shit? He lost to a fucking pony. Get on the thing! It didn't even look like he was back on it, but whatever. What, a fall. what does this do? Super speed? Yeah, just like some other certain Sega game. Was that a fucking rice ball? I wasn't aware that Tengen was a Japanese developer. Well, maybe they were. Oh, I'm gonna have to check on that. Ah, and of course, I'm running along and I run right into spikes. This fucking stupid ass level design. I do not see myself coming back to play this on my own time. I really don't. And I miss the health power-up, because of course I do. And that's my brother's dumbass beagle just barking at something in the other room, probably just seeing a dog on TV. Stupid fucking dog. Well, I gotta admit, this dog in real life is more annoying than hearing this possum talk. Checkpoint. Oh, joy, so I get to play longer. Okay, it's not 
as bad as I feared it would be. It's not making me think, why did I have to get this? Like when I played the two Bubsy games a month ago or so, but... Yeah, this really is nothing special. Let me... And the whole environmentalism angle and... Ah, oh, fucking bear trap. Well, Sonic did it already and did it kind of, you know, good. Yeah, he doesn't talk as much as I feared he would, and... Okay, I somehow managed it. And I fall into this thing again, and he's dead. At least I hit the checkpoint. Okay. So slow down, concentrate, which is kind of counterintuitive in something that's trying to replicate Sonic! Oct- See? Ah! It's very hard to accurately land your jumps in this game. That is a fatal flaw. And I wasn't- I wasn't even- I knew that was there, I was trying to avoid it, but no. It's fucking floaty control in this shit. And... Uh, yeah, and I'm gone. Sorry, Awesome Possum, there's a reason your game isn't finally remembered. See you guys later. Oh, he's juggling now! Cute!